That over there is the grumpiest, grumpiest baby ever. She's only smiling now because I've got the flash on or the light on. She's demanding to wear all the bows. She needs a nap. She's overtired. Riley's hanging out with the Gruffalo. No, no. <laughs> Got her this little sticker book thing, uh, or sticker scene thing for the airplane ride. And she wasn't that interested in it on the airplane. But she's really interested in it right now. Gruffalo. You hanging out with the Gruffalo? Who else is in there? Oh, I, I'm not invited. <laughs> Are you invited? No. I'm not invited. <laughs> Riley got a bunch of calico critters. They're called Sylvanian family here in the UK. But she got a bunch of these calico critters from my sister um, when we were in the US. And uh, she loves them. <laughs> what can I say? She loves them. Right now I've just got a few of them in a little container for her, um, but my sister did give her like a whole like schoolhouse thing and loads of little accessories and bits and bobs for like, you know, like a bathroom and a kitchen. <coughs> What's wrong? <laughs> but there's way too many little bits and bobs because um, they've got really tiny pieces and it's just more than Riley is ready to deal with. We're in the waiting room of Riley's favorite place, back at the dentist. Daddy's over there checking you in, Riley. Yeah. You wanna read this book? seem all right. It still just seems to be those front four. Mm. Riley did awesome at the dentist. She actually barely cried. Like she had a tiny cry when the dentist was prodding in her mouth. Um, and now she's sleeping. <laughs> anyway, we're in the pound shop now looking for some bits that I can use for her birthday party, which is coming up. It feels really soon. I mean, I've got a couple weeks still, but I can't believe it's coming up so soon. Riley is still sleeping. I am walking her home because we have a friend coming around. Um, so obviously I need to make sure we are home for that. And I wanted to make sure she got her nap because if I had to put her in the car seat to get her home, it would have woken her up. But she's looking super cute. Oh, did you just wake up? Ooh. It is really pretty out. Sure. Let me pick you up, okay? Hello. 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 Yeah. Are you saying hi to all your little critters? Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> We've got to be so careful in the garden these days because there are spiders everywhere. And they're... Their webs are huge and like really easy to walk through because they're everywhere. But Riley likes them. She likes saying hello. Can you say hello to the spider? Hello? Bubbles? You want more bubbles? Check this out. Spider there. Spider there. Oh, there's one there, but he just disappeared. I've just had a seriously dramatic moment. This is our bathroom floor. <laughs> I 
this is the hose to our diaper sprayer. Um, I was downstairs with Riley and I just started hearing gushing water. So I came running up the stairs and apparently this, even though it wasn't being used or anything, it just started gushing water. Um, so I ran back downstairs to grab, you know, the screwdrivers or whatever so I could turn the water main off. Thank goodness I figured out how to do that because it flooded in here very, very, very quickly. And it's made a huge mess. You guys, yeah. you, you want me to put a sock on you. And she just wants to play with socks. I'm all wet. Look at that. Baggy, saggy knees. Like an old lady. Baby, baby, baby. Baby. You drop your baby. Baby. A while since we did the old driving home from workshop uh, we're not having a good couple of days yesterday we had the water hose explode all over the bathroom which I wasn't there for thank god um, and now today I'm driving home and it sounds like something has happened to the rear of the car as I drive over a speed bump we had a rather noisy snapping sound and um, I've driven about another five miles and it's making a strange sound. I did get out and check to see whether I could see the broken suspension but I can't and it doesn't look that bad so it might be something else hanging underneath the car, I don't know. I'm going to take it to the garage and find out. My mate Nigel so I think I'm going to go home, stick the bike in the back of the car. So if I need to take, leave the car there, because I probably shouldn't be driving it right now. Uh, I have some way of getting home in rush hour traffic on the bike, probably in the dark. So um, fun times since we've been back from the US. <laughs> we got Riley a new toy for her birthday party. <laughs> she loves it. <laughs> Whoa. It's a Whoa. cannon and it shoots balls. <laughs> You're supposed to jump on it, but she just likes sitting on it. <laughs> oh, this thing is great. Um, I keep forgetting to tell you guys what her party is. Um, because I got Ooh. the invitations last week and I keep meaning to show them, but I keep forgetting. Da, 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 da. Fire. This is why she has a cannon for her birthday party. Because she's having a pirate party. Mm. Are you my little pirate? Say ahoy. Ahoy, ahoy. Wee. <laughs> You're a pro. Uh. <laughs> And you're building a super cool house, Riley. You're very cool. Building it higher. Look at that, guys. This is my budding architect. Perfectionist. I haven't.
talk to you guys much this week, so I thought I would set the camera up and update you guys. Um, I think the biggest reason why it's been hard to pick up the camera this week is Riley has needed a lot, a lot of constant attention, um, more than what she needed in the past. And I think the biggest reason for that is when we were in New Jersey at my parents' house, um, obviously their house is not um, childproof or baby friendly. So we had to constantly keep an eye on her. Um, they've got stairs everywhere. Um, the floors are just like wooden or tiles. So she could hurt herself quite a bit if she'd fallen down them. Um, yeah, so we just had to keep an eye on her. And then like little things like little ceramic figures and stuff on very low levels that she could reach, um, that kind of stuff. So between me, Duncan, and my parents, um, somebody had to constantly be with her, playing with her, giving her attention. Couldn't take her eye off of her for a second. Uh, and I think she got used to that for a week. So now, whenever I try to do something, she's been asking me for attention. Um, whereas before, she kind of would play by herself here and there. She's just kind of started getting back into that pattern since yesterday. So that's good. So that is falling off. Um... But the other big thing that we've been battling is her sleep. So we were really ahead of ourselves last week at the end of the vlog. I thought that her jet lag was nearly fixed. Um, no. Her sleep patterns and eating patterns are all over the place and make completely no sense at all anymore. She has gone to bed as early as like 8 o'clock, 8.30. She's gone to bed as late as 2 and 3 a.m. in the morning. She's gone days without any nap at all, um, where she's been up for like 15 hours straight. And she's had days where after she's been awake for just two hours, she's decided to go down for a nap. Um, she has other days where she's not taking her nap until 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, yeah, so there's no rhyme or reason. I think her body clock is just completely messed up. And like I said, her eating patterns have also played into that. So a lot of times when I want her to be going to sleep, it's like 10 o'clock at night and she decides she's like starving hungry and I have to feed her like a meal um, because it's like dinner time back in New Jersey. <laughs> so... It's been a really fun week <laughs> trying to figure all of that out. And the nice part of this past week is that, um, and I'm saying this as Riley is watching her iPad, so it's a bit, you know, ironic that I'm saying this right now, but she's not been watching her iPad very much. She's been playing so much this week with like every single toy that she has. Um, she will pull out every day, like literally like every toy and like play with it, like intensely and seriously for long periods of time. Um, so that's been really nice because clearly something in her head has kind of clicked and her imaginative play has changed drastically. Um, she has played with her toys in the past, of course, but I just, I see a big difference in how she's playing and that's been really fun. So I think I've shown quite a few clips this week of her playing with like her little characters and stuff um because she's never done it in that way before like she's been lining them up and like having little conversations with them um yeah it's been really fun to see what else oh riley's currently wearing panties right now i'm starting that today because she is potty trained in the house if i leave her completely naked down below um she will go on to the potty all by herself, she'll use it. If I'm not around when she uses it, then she will bring me the potty to show me that she's done something and that I need to clean it up. Um, but she's very happy to just go in a diaper because I put her in a diaper if she's going down for a nap or at bedtime um, or if we're going out of the house. Um, so because of that, if in the past, if I put her in panties, she would just pee straight through them because it feels like a diaper to her. Um, and I just, before we went on holiday, I didn't even want to deal with that or worry about that. Um, and since we've been back, I've just been putting it off because dealing with her jet lag and her sleep schedule and her eating schedule has been hard. Um, but I'm starting it today. So she's in panties. So far she has not peed through them. Um, I've just been reminding her constantly 
that if she needs to pee or poo to use the t potty, almost a toilet, um, which there isn't really a difference, but I don't want to say toilet for her because that's upstairs and we have a stair gate and I'm going on a major tangent. You guys don't care about this. I've been reminding her to use the potty anyway. Um, yeah, so I just need her to get to a point where she will, if she's wearing panties, that she will ask me to pull them down for her when she needs to use the toilet or she will pull them down herself. I don't really care. I just want to get to a point where I can have her in clothes. So when she's gone a few days without peeing through her panties, then I will put her in her trousers or her pants as well. Um, yeah, that's just, that's what I've been working on lately. And this has been a really long talky part of the vlog. So if you guys are still listening to me, thanks. I don't know why you're still listening to me because I'm not that interesting, but... I just thought I'd update you. It's also been like a crazy weird week with like the bathroom flooding, Dunk's car, um, not breaking down because it didn't stop working, but he had to bring it to the garage because something broke on it. Um, yeah, it's just been a bit of a crazy week, so. came to the playground without the ball. Never leave the house without the play the ball. taking Riley out on a walk while she naps. And uh, up the road, a guy sells used bikes. A little balance bike for 10 quid and a little scooter for two. So 12 pounds for the both of them. Good job. <laughs> you like that part of the show? You like dancing to it? Hi. You gonna say night night to everybody? Thanks for watching. Say night night. Thanks for watching. <laughs>